Welcome back you two pipe smokers. Mutton Chop Piper here. Today's video is a product review of the Kristen radiator pipe. All right, before we get into looking at the pipe, I want to read a little bit about the man who invented it and the company that produces it. It is by no means merely puffery to say that Professor Frederick K. Kristen was a genuine American original. He first sailed to the country in 1902 as a cabin boy from Hamburg, Germany. After successfully rounding the horn and eluding the Shanghai gangs of the West Coast, he navigated the educational system of the University of Washington to become a professor of aeronautical engineering. Here, his inventive spirit took wing. He created the world-famous Kristen Wind Tunnel Air Washing Equipment for Factories, an air-cooled utopian bed, and most notably, a revolutionary propeller, which enables boats to stop and turn on a dime. Today, in the same waters where he jumped ship almost 100 years ago, ocean-going vessels are, land, are landed by sturdy tugs driven by Kristen cyclodial propellers piloted by equally sturdy captains smoking cool Kristen pipes. Rightly called the coolest pipe in the world, this latter in invention came about when a doctor advised Professor Kristen to switch from cigarettes to pipes. He quickly dreamed up a way to trap the moisture, tars, and tongue-biting acids which attack the user of briar pipes. After 50 years and counting, Kristen pipes are still produced by the Kristen family, faithfully following the basic design of this father of invention. Okay, so Kristen's have been around quite a while. All right, now I want to break down the pipe and show you different pieces of it. Okay, so what I'm going to do is um, I'm going to kind of tear it down and point out, show you what, what the parts are and what they're called. Okay, so let's take the bowl off first. This, of course, is the bowl. All right, now, this front piece is called the valve. Now, the valve, see if I can get it where it'll... The valve has a flat spot right there. I don't know if you can see it or not, but that tells you what position the hole in the valve is. Okay, so let me take this piece out. You just pull on it and it comes out. Now I'm going to put this part down and show you this valve. Okay, now as you can see, uh, hopefully you can see it, there's this flat spot. It's right there. And it aligns with this hole right here. Right there. You see that? This flat spot here aligns with this hole. And it has an O-ring right here. Alright. Then this piece is the body. And you have the mouthpiece right here. So the mouthpiece, you just pull and it comes out. Now this is the body of the pipe here. Okay, now this piece, this piece is called the ramrod. Ramrod. And if you can see, there's a small hole right there. That's where the smoke comes through to the mouthpiece. It also has an O-ring right here. So you have the ramrod, the hole for the smoke, you have an O-ring and the mouthpiece. Okay, so, so you have your bowl here, you have your valve here, you have the radiator stem here, and you have the mouthpiece and the ramrod here, plus two O-rings. Okay, so 
once uh, let me go ahead and put it back together for you and then we'll pull it back apart here in a minute okay so you take your ramrod put it in the middle there and you push it in until it stops now as you see you see where the ramrod is it is suspended in the middle of your body here so that way no moisture gets to the mouthpiece gets through that little hole because it's suspended in the middle okay then you take your valve and remember the hole okay so you slide that in and you just make sure that that flat spot flat spot is aligned with your hole here okay and then screw on your bowl Oop. Well, I have better luck doing it with this this hand there we go that's better now in this bowl you just want to tighten it finger tight you don't want to tight over tighten it okay and there it is there's the pipe now a couple of things that I want to explain to you that I like about the pipe and a couple of things I don't a couple of the only thing I really don't like about it is the fact that you've got to change the o-rings the manufacturer told me that you only have to change the o-rings about every six months to a year and when I purchased the pipe, they did give me extra um, O-rings. So uh, I can go to the company and buy more O-rings. They're, uh, they're a dollar a piece, and they usually give you four at a time. All right. One thing I do like about the pipe is the valve. When you get ready to clean the bowl, you just turn this valve like that and you are ready to clean the bowl now the moisture stays in this body and so you put the tobacco in in here you smoke it and then when you're ready to clean it you just do it the regular way use a check tool to get it out turn it over you can you can do whatever turn it any which way you want the moisture is trapped now if you had this valve up if you turned it over then those that moisture would get back into your bowl that moisture would get back in your bowl so that way that you need to make sure that that valve is turned before you turn it upside down when you're done when you're clean the bowl is clean you're ready for another bowl you just turn the valve back up upright Aligned with that with your bowl, fill your bowl and smoke another bowl of tobacco. Okay, usually what I do is I will keep, I will um, not clean the pipe until I am done. I usually smoke it three, two or three times before I clean it. And it's really easy to clean. So let me show you how to do that. First thing you want to do is clean out your bowl. Turn your valve, clean out your bowl really good, and when you're done with that, you want to unscrew your bowl, take it into the bathroom, or near a faucet. Take this out, shake it out, there'll be a bunch of water that comes out. You put run this part under the faucet, then you clean it off with some toilet paper, or paper towel, or whatever. Then I usually take a Q-tip and I go into that part right there and clean that out really good. And then I pull this part out and I run water through this, through this piece here. And I take a piece of tissue and I put it at the end. And then you take your ramrod and you push that piece of toilet paper through. It'll come out nasty at the other end, but it'll be clean. Then I run this underwater and I clean this off with toilet paper or with paper towel or whatever. Then I take a pipe cleaner and I run a pipe cleaner up through, up through the hole and then out. 
And then once that's done, you're ready to reassemble. And there you go, you're done. Cleaning it takes about five minutes, not even that. But the thing about it is, is that you don't have to clean it after every, clean actually the moisture out of it until after three or four bowlfuls. You do have to clean the bowl. You just make sure to turn that valve before you clean the bowl so no moisture gets back up into uh, the bowl. Um, there's another radiator pipe out there made by a man by the name of Weeb, uh, Hector Weeb. I like his pipes too, but he doesn't have the valve, so you have to actually make sure that you take that bowl off before you turn it upside down because moisture will run back into the bowl if you don't do that. So that's the difference. Uh, I like the valve on this one. Uh, I'm sad that he doesn't have a valve on his, but you know, both pipes are very easy to smoke. They're very cool because the moisture is trapped here. And since that ramrod is suspended, uh, no moisture gets to the hole into the stem. And also the metal body acts as a heat sink, drawing all the heat away as the smoke comes through into this body part. So the first time I smoked this, the smoke actually hit my mouth cold. I couldn't believe it, it was cold. So uh, this pipe is, is really good on uh, keeping the moisture and the smoke away from you. All right, well, that's it. That's it for this video. I hope you enjoyed it. I hope you learned something. Until my next video, I want to wish you and your family happy piping.